Front kick defense with pivot. This is used when our opponent is stepping in with a front or push kick. Uh, a lot of the giveaways on if someone's going to kick me are one, if they've already kicked at me, or two, they're stepping in with kind of a reaching step with their toes pointed at me. So this is kind of a giveaway that they're going to kick because they're trying to close, close the space for a kick here. So uh, we always want to maintain our distance here about two arm lengths. If I'm any closer than that, I don't really have a lot of time to react to punches or kicks. So the more space really the better, but uh, when we get into closing the gap and things like that, uh, we really don't want too much. But for now, I'm about two arm lengths away. I'm going to maintain that distance no matter what my opponent does. He's stepping in with a big reaching step, and you can see as he does that, I am moving away from him. Okay. <clears throat> so the primary defense to a uh, kick is moving away from the kick. If it's a front kick, I generally move away. Uh, if it's more of a roundhouse, I'll move away. So uh, this uh, kick defense with pivot is used more for when the guy kind of catches me off guard. For whatever reason, my hands are low, where uh, they should never be. I'm close, where I should never be. And he comes in with a front kick. So uh, we can use it when the hands are up. And we can drop the hands. Uh, but first, we'll show it with just the hands down. He steps in, I'm pivoting on the ball and heel of my feet here, and turning my body so that I'm presenting a smaller target. Okay, if I leave my body square, there's this nice, juicy, soft target, my big belly for my opponent to kick. So by turning sideways, okay, I'm prevent presenting a smaller target for him to hit. Okay, so as he comes in, I block. The second thing this does is I'm already loaded up for a follow-through strike. So. My opponent steps in, kicks at me. I always want to block this kick from the outside in. If he kicks and I block from the inside out, when he steps in, he's either tying up or punching. Okay. If I block from the outside in, it's exposing his back. Okay. Just like a lot of these self-defense moves, um, the more my opponent puts into it, really the better. Sometimes when we train things, we grab kind of light, and it really kind of makes things unrealistic. And by being more aggressive, these moves actually work better. And this is definitely a good example of that. If he comes in with kind of a weak kick, and I block it, there's not a lot of, there's still a lot of space there. But if he really comes in hard, and I block, He's still moving in. He closes the gap better for me, and he's going to meet my follow-up strike. So he kicks. I block. I'm loaded up, and Alio follows through with an elbow here. So just depending on your distance, it might be an elbow strike. Maybe we have a little more distance, and I block this, and he's far away for the punch. Or maybe I just want to take the back. Or maybe I just want to get out of there. So uh, we have the opponent's back. He's set up beautifully for a strike. Or we can just take the back or escape. So important details, pivoting on the feet, the ball on the heel, narrowing my target by turning my body sideways. You can see I'm turned all the way to the camera here. I've turned 90 degrees with the body. And then lastly, the important detail is as I'm blocking, I'm blocking with my thumb towards the leg. Okay, my thumb's tucked so I don't jam it. But I'm blocking with the bone here, okay, the radius, as it sweeps across and through. So that's the motion, pretty simple. Okay, even if the hands are up, he kicks. It's still blocked quite effectively. Maybe it shows it down here, but we know better. We're up here. Ready? 
for the follow-up. So really, in my opinion, uh, far better kick defense uh, than trying to catch the foot. Trying to catch the foot often gets us into more trouble than it's worth. This is just simple, easy, just chopping the leg out of the way, and then it gives us the back. So, a couple times, this one works beautifully. This guy can kick me as hard as he, as he wants. There's a little bit of timing involved here. Remember, I'm always going from the outside in. But really a very effective, very simple uh, front push kick defense. So he kicks me as hard as he can. Boom, right there. Okay, another time. Okay, boom. So there you have it.